वेलकम टू स्वीटी स्पीक्स ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे टॉपिक इज डायनामिक एरेज लेट सी द की फीचर्स द फर्स्ट की फीचर ऑफ डायनामिक एरे इज दैट इट इज एन अनपैक्ड एरे हुज साइज कैन बी डिसाइडेड एट द रन टाइम नाउ इफ यू रिकॉल वी हैड सीन अनपैक्ड एरेज इन फिक्स साइज एरेज ऑल्सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैट फिक्स साइज अनपैक्ड एरे एंड डायनामिक एरे इज in the fixed size array you know the size of the array at the time of declaration itself but in case of dynamic array you know the size only at the run time in case you have not seen the unpacked array which is of fixed type i'll share the link in the description you can go through that the second key feature is at the time of declaration this dynamic array is empty it does not have any size then when is the size of the array determined only during the run time during the run time we use the new constructor to allocate memory to this dynamic array that's when the size will be decided we are going to see the syntax and example next thing is it can be allocated and resized at the time of simulation now let's see the syntax here i have taken a dynamic array of type int and since during the declaration this array should be empty so here if you see i have not specified any size that i will specify at the time of simulation or run time by using the new constructor now let's see some of the methods of dynamic array the first method is new and we use it to allocate memory to the array by specifying size example is dynamic array equal to new of 7 it means i am allocating the size of 7 to this dynamic array that means this dynamic array will have seven elements of type int because i have declared it as in int dollar size is used to display the size of the dynamic array dollar size and you need to give the uh, dynamic array name of the array now if you want to delete the array there is a inbuilt method called as dollar delete this is how we use the method array name dot delete so this will delete the complete dynamic array now what are the advantages of dynamic array the major advantage is efficient use of memory because here we allocate the memory only during the run time so at the run time i know what size of array i want and only that much memory i'll allocate so there is no wastage of memory or no unused space in the memory now what can be the applications of dynamic array when you have an application where you are not sure about the size of the array until simulation this is the best case when you can use dynamic array because the size is allocated only during run time I hope now the concept of dynamic array is very clear in your mind. In the upcoming lecture, we are going to see an example of dynamic array where we will have the code of dynamic array executed and then analyze the output. Then this will be more clear. To stay tuned, please subscribe to Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel. Thank you.